Hello friends, hope you guys are doing well. So for all the aspirants who are preparing for NEET 2023 and NEET 2024, I hope you guys have watched our analysis of the NEET 2022 paper where Bhavik, I and Akansha had discussed it in detail. Uska link in the description mein dal diya and it will also show in the video. So if you guys haven't already checked it out, you can. And usme humne jo kuch points discuss kiye the, they are beautifully reflected in the question paper, especially a physics ka question tha, jisme we had discussed how NTA would be approaching that and how they would be answering that and exactly NTA ne wahi answer diya hai. So for all the NEET 2022 aspirants, do let us know in the comment section ki aapka kya score ban raha hai and how do you feel about your performance. Today's video is about how to read NCRT. For that matter, kisi bhi textbook ko kaise padha jaye. So, just to show you guys, I have kept my MBBS books here and as you can see, they are very bulky. So, this is my surgery pathology and uh, community medicine textbook. And apart from these, for my reference, I have these NCRT textbooks which I keep with me. And initially, I am going to tell you ki biology ki textbook ko kaise padha jata hai. So, before we begin, I would like to tell you guys ki aap bhi apni textbooks nikaal lein. And you can keep a pen, a pencil, few stationery, kuch sticky notes to make it colourful and two highlighters with you. So I always recommend something called the two highlighter technique where you keep one highlighter, let's say the orange one, for any doubts that you have and you keep the green highlighter for noting down the important points. So let's take the first chapter since aap logo ne first chapter bohat baar pada hoga. I am sure it will be easy for you to understand. So, in this NCRT, you can initially skip all the initial part because nothing is required. This first page, generally there's a very general introduction. So, when you textbook a textbook, what usually happens is, we initially waste a lot of time in introduction to the introduction. And by the time we reach to the actual content, we are really tired. So, I would always recommend, don't start the introduction in the beginning. Come to the content matter straight away. Start reading from there and then take it from there and baad mein aap introduction padh lena because otherwise if you start from the introduction hum kya karte hain introduction ko bahut seriously padhne lag jate hain how wonderful is the living world but trust me they will not ask you in your neat examination ki the living world is wonderful or not right they will probably ask you how you define living they will ask you okay who is the darwin of the 20th century so these are the points that matter at the end of the day there's a difference between reading a story book and a textbook you cannot treat them in the same way. Ye koi lori nahi hai jo raat ko aap, aap ki mammi aapko suna rahi hai and you're, you know, you're just enjoying it. It's an intensive process. Kai log sochte hai ki jab humare pas free time hoga, tab hum NCRT padhenge. That's not how it's supposed to be done, right? So let's say I take this highlighter and because I know ki Ernst Mayer se previous year mein question aaya hua hai, I will like to read this paragraph. So that's where the importance of previous year questions also comes in, that you know what points are important. So I know that in this paragraph, I start reading. So born on 5 July 1904. So I know this will probably never be asked in the examination because dates are not asked. In Germany, Ernst Meyer, the Harvard University evolutionary biologist who has been called as the Darwin of the 20th century. So now I come to an important point that okay, it can be asked in the examination which of the following scientists is called as the Darwin of the 20th century. So I will highlight this point. I've seen a lot of students make this mistake while reading, they highlight everything and that just makes a mess out of your NCRT. I have seen a lot of colorful screenshots on Instagram that we have studied so much NCRT, so much NCRT. Trust me, that does not make sense. Because if you have all highlighted, it will not be helpful for you at the end of the day. Because you have studied the whole NCRT and before your examination, in the last one week, you have to revise everything. So if you do it this way, you can just revise whatever you have highlighted and that is going to be what is important for the examination. So like this, I have underlined the Darwin of the 20th century. It will never be asked when did Ernst Meyer join Harvard University because they don't want you to know that. But they want you to know that what is the triple crown of biology. So I will highlight the Balzan Prize, the International Prize of Biology and the Krafut Prize constitute the triple crown of biology. One more thing that is left here is the definition of a biological species. So as you can see, I condensed this entire page into just three points that will be important for the examination. And when I revise it, these three points are all I have to read. So a page that will take me five minutes will just take me one minute during my revision. That is how you make your NCRT reading more effective. Come to this introduction part. You just skip this initial paragraph because it's all introduction. It talks about how beautiful the mountains are, how beautiful the rivers are. 
but you don't need to know that for your neat examination although you already know it so then move to the next topic and especially focus on the lines that are bold for example if it says all living organisms grow now that's an important line for you so you have to underline it because it will help you at the end of the day now another thing that a lot of people feel is that we have our notes there are some extra questions that are asked in the neat examination how do we deal with that so my belief is to create a single resource creating a single resource is very important taki aap last mein revise kar sako and for biology ncrt has to be your single resource and that is where these beautiful yellow pink green papers come in right so for example if i know that there has been a previous year question that has been asked from the ncrt and it is not something that is written here i would write it on this sticky note and that is where you can probably use colorful pens to emphasize on certain points or emphasize on certain previous year questions and you can just add it to the ncrt so that when you are revising you can decide which uh, notes which sticky notes you have to read for example if i go to this table table 1.1 on page number 11 so this has been very frequently asked in the examination right so you can just memorize this table and you can no need to highlight all of it just highlight table 1.1 so that you know that you have to revise it and if there has been some question that has been asked at some point for example at in in a previous year question let's say it has been asked what is the order of horse right although it's also covered in class 12 in evolutionary biology but it's slightly out of the ncrt right so if you have to write the orders of some important animals so you can write here okay let's say this is horse what will be the order of that particular organism similarly you can take another color and write it for some other organism let's say you want to write the order of a hippopotamus right so just write hippo here and you can write the order here so now what will happen is that in this particular place you have created a synchronized information which includes your previous year questions so that you know that you don't have to refer to any other notes apart from your ncrt at the time of revision so i think these are a few points that you need to keep in mind while reading your ncrt and they will make your revision very very effective to summary sab baat ki ye hai ki apne ncrt mein wahi cheeze dhang se padho jo aapko lagta hai exam mein aa sakti hain isse kya hoga jab aap apne man mein wo multiple choice questions frame karoge to exam mein aap un cheezon ko galat nahi karoge aapke liye last mein revise karna bahut aasan ho jayega and in all of these things you will have created a beautiful ncrt that will look very good on your instagram right and agar aap koi bhi textbook apne competitive exams ke liye pad rahe hain so that is going to be your approach to it i hope isme se aap kuch cheeze implement kar payenge and they will be helpful to you in the similar way we have a lot of other videos that will make your neat preparation smarter and more efficient so you guys can stay subscribed to this channel so that you know what new updates are coming and screen will also have a lot of videos that you guys can see and explore please remember to like this video drop a comment as to what you liked about this video and do share it with all your friends my name is chetanya mittal and i am currently studying at all india institute of medical sciences new delhi my all india rank was 4 in the aims 2019 entrance examination